Hi there. I will receive some very short questions. So I'm going to go through those in this short video and I will show you how you can do those things. So first question was how I can change background color in Abacus. So for that, if let's say if this is your Abacus CA and you already have an ODB file open, you just go to the view graphics options and then here you see it's a gradient with these two color combinations here. So you can change it to solid and then you can change it to white or black or whatever and then you will see it becomes white so again you can play around with that and you can see which color you like the most i will just keep it to the default one Our next question was how to measure a distance in abacus so in this case you have to go to tools query and then you have to select distance here and it asks you select the first node so you can select let's say this node here and then it asks you to select the second node so let's say select this node here <coughs> then excuse me and then it gives me the coordinates so you can see the distance in x y and z directions are given to me both undeformed and undeformed distances are given to me if it's if you know the initial state as well and it also gives you the magnitude of the distances the third question was how i can export xy data from abacus i have already a video on how to extract xy data and plot xy curves in abacus but again i will just show you how you can do that so let's say if i go here and i can say that i need to first create and plot maximum principal stresses and strains so i'll go to the create xy data then odb field output and then i will select the respective quantity so in this case i have selected maximum principal strains it depends whatever you want to do and <coughs> maximum principal stresses and then i go to the elements and i will just select edit and then maybe I will select let's say for this element then I press done so it says one element selected you can also do multiple selection by just clicking and creating a window and once I have done that I will just say save and my data is now extracted as you see here at the bottom and I can see that data I can press dismiss here and I can go here and next my data manager and you can see I have already the data here, which is what was for elements 861. So now I already have a video on how to combine these data and plot extras and strain. But in this case, since the question was how you can extract this data in a file, and then you can take it to Excel or MATLAB or, or, or GNU plot or whatever you want. So since you have already saved the data, you go to the reports, and you say XY data, and then you have to name the file so in this case i'm selecting abacus 1.rpt you can have a single table and it will it will have time in this case then strain and then stresses and it will interpolate in between if there's some data values missing or you can have a separate table in this case it's easier to have single table because then you will have only three columns in a file i have selected the maximum accuracy here you can reduce that or whatever you want and i'm going for a scientific notations I go to the XY data tab and I select the data which I just extracted for element 861 and then I will say OK. So it will say there is already a file with this name and do we want to overwrite it and I will say yes and now the file has been written as you see here in the temp folder. So now I'm going to go to the temp folder here and you see there is a file there which I just created here. So I'm going to use notepad for that and you see I already have now time strain and stress so if i want now i can go to my excel for example and i can if i have excel here what i can open excel and then i will just do this and then i can go to the data and i can say text to columns and then this next and then this now everything in columns so now i if i want to plot a strain and stress here so I can just go insert straight in, and that's done. So I hope this helps.
and let's say this is my control plot scale or legends so you have to go to viewport annotations legends and then you can play around with it so let's say if you want to make it match viewport you apply there so now you see it has a color you can make it transparent if you want to change the style of the numbers you can do it normally it is scientific with this so it looks something like this but i sometimes prefer to have fixed numbers with two digits so so it works like this and it feels okay and another thing is it shows a boundary normally as a default like this so you can remove it by clicking on this so again you can play, play around with this you can remove this stuff by changing triad state block if you just want, don't want to so show or you want to have a this you see state block can have a block as well so again there are many different options here but in this case you were asking about this so i hope this makes more sense how to change this so these were a few questions which i have tried to explain to you i hope this makes sense and this will solve some of your problems okay so till next time i will see you in the next video with your more more of your questions bye bye for now